today we're going to learn how to do the uh, Spider-Verse style of animation. Uh, some people in my comment section uh, and on some uh, videos uh, actually ask me how to do the uh, Spider-Verse uh, shaders or uh, just like the actual workflow. So uh, today we're going to learn how to do all of that. Uh, we're also going to see a little bit of the uh, animation workflow uh, for those who are interested in the actual animation. So uh, the first thing you want to do is grab the... Uh, Miles Morales rig from Magora Community. Um, you also want to download the actual Mgear plugin. Uh, get the one up to date because the one in the uh, the one in the file doesn't actually work. So uh, just download that and uh, get it set up. Just drag the file into mine. It's, it's supposed to work. Uh, then the second thing I did was actually making the um, the model from the rig into the uh, Spiderman or the Japanese Spiderman. Uh, kind of aesthetic so uh, what I did was basically just I grabbed some images from the internet so as a reference so I mainly used that one to do my textures um, so you can see it's basically all done by hand on Substance Painter um, I did do some of the uh, more like uh, complicated complicated like textures like the spider and the, the eyes on Photoshop and just put it afterwards in uh, and put it afterwards in the uh, painter so it actually looks good and uh, I also modeled uh, this little thing he has like the Japanese spider has the, uh, the spider protector thing I think it's called uh, and I actually modeled it and just put it uh, try to make it into the uh, spider verse style and there we go I got the rig now the second thing I did was actually animating uh, Spider-Man. So for those who are in animation, you know that reference is super important. So what I did was basically just watch a, like a lot of Japanese Spider-Man, <laughs> uh, especially like the intro. So uh, for, for the first part of the animation, that's actually just like his uh, iconic pose. For no, 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 no! Like that kind of thing. And um, uh, for the second part of the animation, I actually wanted him to have the gun. So, you know, the uh, sort of like Japanese Spider-Man meme with the gun. I actually wanted to do a little homage to that. So what I did was I actually grabbed a gun on uh, Sketchfob. I don't remember exactly the one. Um, just grab one uh, just some machine gun like he has in the show and uh, I just put it into the scene and I actually made him grab it so for those kind of poses again it's just like I iconic Spider-Man posing just a lot of dynamic poses uh, having a good silhouette that's generally like the trick um, what you want to do also like unlike the uh, the real Spider-Man like he doesn't do like the uh, hand flip doesn't do that uh, if you're watching the show, he has like a straight hand and you can just do the Spider Spider! like that. Like he has this. Uh, so I actually made him do that. And uh, what I use for the webs, it's actually a rig. Uh, you can find it on. Uh, you can find it if you just like type uh, web rig. You can f actually find it on the internet. It's the first thing that pops up. Uh, like it's this and I just go into this website and you're gonna find it eventually if you just uh, search animation rigs just uh, yeah just scroll and eventually you'll find it it's uh, this Byron rigs pretty hard to miss um, so once you yeah. actually I think there's like a better link yeah like there and just you know there you go and just grab this one so once you've got the uh, the actual web rig you can just uh, animate it there's a lot of controls actually um, on this rig it's pretty good you can uh, like use this to shoot the web uh, you can adjust the web thickness there's a, a lot of parameters I use to uh, do the uh, actual webbing um, and then my, Another idea I had for the animation was actually giving him like the uh, sort of like anime uh, sort of camera 
uh, so like quick pans, uh, a little bit like they did, uh, even like in the Spider-Verse movie, there's a lot of like quick pans, so uh, sort of like a stylistic panning. I also wanted like to try the uh, sort of like weird motion blur, like sort of painterly uh, motion blur they did for the movie. So uh, yeah, I'm setting that up uh, directly in the uh, the actual animation scene. So later on, I can actually try to do the uh, uh, the actual uh, fake motion blur they did for the movie. Uh, so once I'm done with the animation, uh, one of the main things that Spider Verse does is actually animating on two. So what you want to do uh, if you're in Maya, uh, there's actually a cool feature. You can just uh, do this, bake the simulation. So it's gonna bake uh, all of your animation. And uh, depending on what you want, you can even do it on threes on certain moments. So uh, as you can see, I, I even baked uh, the animation on threes at certain moments, especially for like the slow mo, slow motion part. Uh, but uh, you, if you want only want it on twos, you can only do that and just do bake. It's gonna bake your whole animation. And then, uh, and then if you want like only certain parts uh, on twos. Well, you grab those and you just put it on steps. Uh, for the rest, if you want to keep it on ones, you can just leave it be. But it, 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 if you ever make a mistake, just uh, click this this uh, tangent here and it's going to work. Uh, it's going to fix it and you're going to put it back on ones. So, uh, once your animation is done, what you want to do is just export your whole animation uh, on uh, a lion back. Just export it all. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, just... Um, Go to go to Windows setting preferences and just uh, activate the ABC export. Uh, should do the trick. Uh, so once I'm done with that, now it's time for the actual render. So uh, for a render, what I did is uh, I actually already have like a shader for a spider. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Uh, but I also had to do have like an environment because uh, AGRIs. Uh, yes, I could do that, but it looks like crap. So. What I did is uh, I actually grab an environment on uh, again on Sketchfab, so like this sort of Japanese uh, hallway or back alley. Uh, it seems pretty cool. So I just grabbed this and uh, I uh, took the textures. Uh, I put it in Photoshop, so the textures for the buildings, and I just put it in Photoshop and used the uh, actual cutout filter. And it sort of does this, uh, like this painterly uh, style, which kind of fits pretty well with the Spider Verse style. So this is what I did for most of the textures. As you can see, it does a pretty good job uh, of uh, making it more painterly and more comic book too. Uh, once I've done that, now it's time for the actual shader. So I'm gonna show you how to did that. So this is all. This is like the big tree node. Uh, I did for this shader. Uh, I recommend you to go watch uh, this video. Uh, so the Spider Verse Material in Blender. Uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty good tutorial. But I did some adjustments to make it work in mine because there was some bugs. Uh, but uh, if you have no problem, just follow this one or uh, just watch mine. So uh, for mine, what I did is basically what it is 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 just basically you take the texture coordinates and you just map the gradient texture, which is a spherical texture, like. So like all the little comic book dots, it's basically this uh, mapped onto this. Um, see if like if I change that, it's gonna change the uh, sort of style it does. So what do you want to grab is the actual spherical gradient texture and just map it with those kind of nodes. Uh, if you change the actual value, you can see it's it, it's gonna map it differently. Uh, so you have like bigger uh, dots. But uh, for my animation, I prefer to have uh, smaller, do smaller dots like they did in the movie. Um, you can also change the actual, um, how it affects uh, the actual model. Uh, I like it, keep it at uh, like 100 so we can actually see the dots. Um, you can also put at 0.5 if you really wanted like a subtle uh, gradient. Uh, so now that I've done the actual shader, now it's time for the um, for the actual uh, thing that's hard in my opinion. It's the uh, actual 
it's the actual like volumetric comic book effect so like this specific thing uh all over spider-verse uh like if you watch the spider-verse movie there's like all of those kinds of uh comic book effects around light sources so what you want to do for that is uh you're gonna first want to activate bloom uh stay in eb and uh then go to the composite compositing uh tab or and uh basically copy this uh what you're gonna need is a dotted texture uh grab anyone on the internet it's gonna do the job uh it's gonna do the job fine like it's gonna work if you just pick a normal one uh don't pick those kinds of dotted textures it's gonna look weird then once you've done that just like import it uh through this uh this tab here and just like grab it uh, once you've got your texture just put it into the mix node with the glare node uh, you can copy those nodes and it should give you this kind of result uh, don't forget to put the invert node or it's gonna look weird like it's gonna look like this yeah don't want that So once I've done my render, what I'm going to do is just basically go into After Effects uh, to do some changes. So let's see. Just open this. So once you've opened After Effects, just grab your uh, your Blender render and just put it into the um, just put it into the actual After Effects uh, tab. Just grab your uh, footage. Uh, you may have to actually put at 24 frames per second, uh, but once you've done that, just uh, drag it there. Just give you a uh, um, should give you a new composition. And then once I've done that, what I basically did was just add this uh, little like uh, this gun flare right there. This like comic book gun flare. It's just an image I grab on the internet again, and uh, I just composited the uh, the flare onto the gun. Um, and I also did some like uh, color changes uh, for the actual impact of the uh, the gun. So. It, it actually gives you like an actual impact when he does it. Poof. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do on in After Effects is give the uh, chromatic aberration. So there's like a way to actually do the uh, like the chromatic depot fill that you can see in the Spider Verse movies, but for some reason mine just doesn't work. Maybe it's because of the ABC file I did with Maya, but. Personally, it just doesn't work for me. You can try it, but uh, personally, I prefer to do it on After Effects. It looks pretty good too. So uh, yeah, basically, when you want, what you want to do is just uh, put an optics compensation with 3D glasses, uh, blinds color red and blue, uh, and you can change the intensity of the uh, actual uh, chromatic aberration with this. Uh, I prefer to set it at 15. Uh, it does the job pretty like does the job pretty good so not gonna change it uh, once I've exported this uh, this render what, I, what I'm gonna do is just basically go into Adobe animate so once I've imported it what I'm gonna do is just basically create another uh, another layer I'm gonna grab the whole footage and uh, just put one for each frame and what you're what what you want to do with Adobe animate is actually giving it like a secondary uh, animation or not necessarily secondary animation but like um, action lines like they do in uh, in comic books so as you can see like he sort of like moves his arm out so what you want to do is just like mimic those kinds of movements 
So what I did is just basically I took uh, the actual color of his arm and just draw uh, a big red line uh, like that. So now when he actually opens his arm, there's sort of a cool action line that kind of looks like a little bit like a motion blur trail too. So you can also do that. So it moves in two frames. And go do the same thing to the second arm. So once you've done that, just uh, once you've done that, what we're gonna do is just put some uh, action lines, or not action lines, but like impacts, it, sort of like all the impacts. So when he shoot is what when there's like his web is shooting, what we're gonna do is just put a little action uh, right there so it looks cooler and we're gonna put a little impact uh, right there like a different color so it shows like the impact again like all we're gonna do in out of the animate is just make it more comic book ish um, and now for the actual cool thing, which is the uh, fake motion blur. So, so for like the fake motion blur, what you're gonna do is just basically, uh, you're gonna smudge the image. So let's grab this, uh, pick a pretty good brush. And you're just gonna smudge the image like that. So it actually looks like a fake motion blur. For this to work, you really want to just smudge the whole image so it's there's like barely any detail. So as you can see, it can work. It works pretty good for one frame, but you can do like two or three frames of motion blur or fake motion blur, as we would call it. It should do the trick pretty good. Like, should should do the trick. Yeah. So once you've done that, uh, what you're gonna end up with is a uh, Spider-Verse animation. So uh, I hope this. Uh, like tutorial it's not really a tutorial it's more like i'm showing you my workflow uh help you uh if you have any questions uh, you can put them in the uh, comment section uh, and uh, yeah uh, have fun animating some spider verse